Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi and welcome to the Cat and Hannah show. We weren't prepared at all <laughs> because Anna hit the record button once and nothing happened. And all of a sudden it worked. <laughs> I'm Kat. I'm Erna. <laughs> and welcome to today's episode of the Cat and Anna show. Hello, welcome, welcome. And what are we going to talk about? We are going to talk about love languages. Love. Love's in the air. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now I've got that on my mind. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. So, love languages. Love, lang love languages. The first time we mentioned love languages was in, actually, wasn't it the Valentine's Week podcast that so. we did about love? It was the first or the second yep. episode we did. Yeah. Yeah. And we didn't know as much then. I know a bit more now. <laughs> as we hopefully know because now. Because I've read the book, but don't blame me if I can't remember. And when I listen to a book, I'm not good. On, I'm not taking notes because I'm doing everything else while I listen. Yeah, exactly. So, hey, but it's, it's in your subconscious. It is. I could hypnotize so just, you to no. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm ready. Look up. It's a high scale. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what's okay. going to happen here. No, seriously. Yes, no. Um, I thought it was interesting because I've heard about it a few years ago. Just yeah, passing by some people talking about it, and in a magazine, there's a test and. But I've been really, and then last year I bought a, a course, or oh, it's not actually, a, it's many courses in, in, on, a, on a website from a uh, lady in Denmark called Mai Wiesman, and she is a sexologist and couples therapist, and she works with the love language, languages as well. Yeah. She has a lot of articles and videos and stuff. Really good. So if you're from Denmark and you want to thumbs up um and then we talked about it you and i yep yeah and now i've read the book bye and did you take the test i did take the test but i think it's wrong <laughs> <laughs> okay did well you? first the book the book <laughs> did was you the... take the test? <laughs> yes i did i did <laughs> Gary Chapman, I was just oh, yeah. trying Gary. to find his name. Yeah. Gary Chapman is a therapist who the love languages is nothing that's been um, documented by anyone else than him. And, and him. he, he, mm -hmm. uh, he learned it from the couples coming into his uh, consultation and he heard over and over again, he doesn't spend time with me or she doesn't ever touch me or he doesn't do things for me. And that's how he fig figured out that if, if it's mentioned so many times from different persons, then it must mean a lot to that individual and it might have some uh, more, um, it might be more important than what we initially felt it's yeah. like we mm -hmm. it, yeah um yeah so, so it's love languages so there's there are five right there are hey, five. i'm this i know because i did the test so we have uh quality time we have mm -hmm. physical touch mm -hmm. we have words of affirmation Mm -hmm. we have gifts mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have it's not always service like service acts uh, of service, yeah. Acts of service. Yeah, yeah true yeah what did yeah. you think you had before you took the test um and do you believe the test to be true yeah i think the test is let me let me just have it Quick. And if you want, to yes, uh, yeah. Yes. My Ooh. my Lovely. my primary love language um, is physical touch, and I am a touchy person. 
it kind of froze. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of froze or I froze. You're oh, no, you're love. No, you froze. <laughs> My first. No, I'm not frozen. <laughs> okay, go on. My first love language is physical touch and I am a touchy person. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. So I wasn't that surprised. And no. the second one but I was. Was the second one was no, not that time. yours was it. Yeah. Which is Mine, also important. Yours. Yeah, it is. And you? Yeah, well, I took it and I imagine that my first one would have been quality time. But, but it obviously it wasn't. Which yeah. one was? Physical touch. Also, oh, yeah. Touchy feely, are we, huh? No. Not like I'm yes. cold, but it's not. If, if no, someone but it, that I don't really know comes to give me a hug, I'm like, okay, I'm not a hugger, but yeah. I can. If, if the ones that are close. Um, but I do tend to hug my kids a lot. And I do tend to, when I pass my husband, to give him a hug. So in that sense, perhaps. But what Dr. Chapman is talking about <laughs> is that the things we often complain about we're lacking in a relationship, that's mm. our primary love language. Yeah. And even though I do complain sometimes about I'm missing some kind of physical search, then my biggest complaint is time to get the quality time. Yeah. That's what I hear myself saying a lot. So, yeah, huh. so maybe you should do the test again. Yeah, but the funny thing is that my husband took the test as well. Ah, oh. And he almost had the same results as you and I. No. So how is it that three different persons have That's almost the same? same. So, and, and the questions, it's not to diminish the test, but the questions were pretty... Sometimes I would have chosen both. Um, yeah. Sometimes yeah, I felt sure. like it was, and, and my husband said, well, he felt it was really orientated around um, gifts all the time. Yeah. Was really focused on, on materialism and gifts. Yeah. And yeah. So, so I think what, what the author says is what you hear yourself talk about that you're missing. Yeah. Look into that or ask your partner. What, what am I complaining? Yeah. yeah. Or look at what is it you enjoy the most in your relationships when, when I'm doing this um, or when he or she is doing that to me, what does it yeah. do for me? Yeah. Because I don't yeah, think... Yeah, for it's... me, then it's definitely a physical touch. Yeah. Good. Cause, yeah, because, you know, I love to, to walk hand in hand and... Yeah just to to be close to one another or to just hook my arm into his um yeah if and, I and have someone I, uh, blah, 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 blah. i'll try again. but it's not that it's not that if yours is physical touch it doesn't mean that you don't enjoy having gifts or that you don't no, enjoy no, no. quality time it's just the the thing that is biggest in your love tank he talks a lot about a love tank is your love a tank love filled? what a love tank, tank? Oh, on a scale oh. from one to ten he's kind of texan how full is your love tank today so you can ask your partner that question or your child he's also made a book for yeah children, loved one a for loved singles one. and for work for uh, yeah oh. so if i had a colleague once and she what? complained a lot yeah. I had a colleague and she complained a lot. And if she didn't complain, she was out running, doing tasks. So wonder what her love language was. Acts of service. Yeah. Because that what that, that was what mattered to her. So sometimes yeah. you can see it. Um, yeah. Bizarre, eh? Mm -hmm. But nice. But nice. So how can we use this? Well, oh, you know you're physical and I believe that mine is acts of service and then what then um if if 
I know that yours is acts of service, then I could just look at what is important for you. And even though I might not like it, or um, no, it's not that I don't necessarily no. don't want it, but if I might not like it, but I still do some acts of servant service, random acts, not always the same acts because that's that grows old. Yeah, exactly. So, and it's not that you're supposed to do it if you don't like it, but it's more the things that. Yeah, but if, if I add it to you or that you feel okay, I could do some laundry, but yeah, instead of really you're not supposed to cross your own, you know, I can't speak today, cross your own lines, boundaries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has yeah. to feel good. So yeah. he talks about a he has a lot of examples in the book so that you can put it. Oh, that's into, nice. I huh? needed that, yeah. From real life examples where yeah, where couples were to split, or um, I've been telling my husband every day for the last 30 years he doesn't spend time with me. All he does is sit with his computer. And the husband oh. says, Well, I do spend time with her, something like that. And then he yeah, just yeah. works his way with the couple. So, what was I trying to say? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were talking of about um, the things um, that when yeah, you do you... Uh, acts of service, then they do have to be. Why are you frozen again? <laughs> A thing. If you're brought up in a home where there weren't frozen Anna, there you are. Physical touch is not sex. It's it's also no, sex, no, no. but it's also. Um, like just just a uh, yeah or yeah. a pet on the shoulder or, or yeah a hug a holding hands as you said and but no? the thing you can do is you can start out slow no yeah well i am a physical person huh? but when i was together with my my former partner he used to slap my butt that i mm -hmm. don't like that was no what you no. wanted no. no no so you need to figure out what is it that's working for you and what's not we use holding hands uh mm -hmm. pat on the back or just uh um yeah 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 you know or no <laughs> so not on the butt but on the cheek <laughs> no but you know like, i know that you don't yeah. <laughs> that's also... a little pinch. no but you know <laughs> pinching the yeah, but just those kind of things, hand yeah. walking hand in hand, uh, yeah. sitting together, uh, hanging out, that kind of things. Yeah, yeah. and that's and what, what you say. Says yeah? is if, if it's not if it's not something that you're used to, just start slow. Yeah, by putting your hand on the shoulder when you pour up a cup of coffee for your partner. If you do that, <laughs> um, I don't. Well, that's a, he gets an it himself ex <laughs> from the coffee maker thingy where he puts push push a button and it makes a lot of noise and when you think the noise thing is over and wait think, five ah. minutes then it goes and does it again because then it has to process something <laughs> totally yeah different. it has to warm the water <laughs> i love it at four in the morning when he has to meet early oh. <laughs> what you just <laughs> drink this cafe or something <laughs> product placement yeah well, but so you could practice, practice. <laughs> yeah, and and you could also if your partner doesn't want to reveal his love or her love language, or um, or maybe if what if people don't know their love language, or is it just that simple? It should be, um, and and he ha in the end of the book he actually says, well, I took the test, and it came out with physical touch, and I don't believe that, right? And then he said, well. Then ask your partner, what do you complain about the most? Um, and the things I mentioned before. Yeah. Um, and if you don't know, yeah, ask your partner. Yeah. Ask. I know my mom's love language by listening to her, and I'm not going to mention it because <laughs> someone might listen. But yeah, 
Um, but he suggests that you, you use it for five weeks if you want to improve your relationship, whether yeah. it's your child or it's your partner, a romantic partner or anyone. Then you can try, if you don't know your partner's love language, for one week, five days only, start with one. Take a break on Saturday and Sunday and continue <laughs> next week <laughs> with another and then see what happens. <laughs> because at some point, your partner might be like, huh? what's, going, what's on? going on? What is she doing? <laughs> and if he or she believes that you do need to manipulate them, then it's really important. Also, if they don't believe it, that you continue even though they call you out or they feel like it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. Continue, be consistent. But do, you, but do you tell your partner, okay, I'm going to think, no, you just start and then yeah. see what, what happens, what changes, yeah. uh, if they are more happy with you. Yeah. And, okay, but then you shouldn't have the expectation that they will do the favor in return. No. Because they might not know. Yeah, okay. Ooh, so it's a one-way street. Huh? Yeah, but it, it doesn't have to be. Because if they want to work on your relationship, on their yeah, relationship, true. Then, then they might know. Um, but he, many times, he just spoke with the wife and he spoke with the husband. And he told the wife to do this and the husband and to, the husband do, that to do that. Because he figured out the other one's uh, love language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think that's that that is indeed uh, a good way to do that. Because otherwise, if just one of the two is uh, ad adapting or adjusting um, themselves to the other's love language, mm -hmm. that's that's not right. Because mm -mm. then you diminish yourself. Yeah, and that's not. The and that's point. not the no exactly. Because if you do that, then what? Yes, it's it's all about growing together and, and yeah. not pleasing, but filling your partner's love tank um, so that you will feel joy and love in your life again. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've just had him in my ear. I was just going to say, <laughs> audiobooks, huh? they do that for you. And he reads it himself. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> it's even better. Yeah, it's even better. <laughs> um yeah but it's interesting and i i mentioned that my husband took the test and he yeah. i i don't believe it's accurate for him for him either so i'm going to try it and he doesn't know that starting drum roll to wednesday no i can't start today i can't start today but then i have to take monday and tuesday off yeah no 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 start on monday then I'll forget. I've forgotten. Oh, okay. Start today. <laughs> I'll put it in my calendar. <laughs> now time to switch. Switch what? Love language. Ah, oh, oh. what did I do last week? Did I even remember? Yeah. But but oh, I no, no, no. You, you make you you just put something in one of those 10 notebooks that you have. <laughs> That's why I use my calendar because I can't ever find I can find my notebook, but I can't find in the notebook. Where, Where did is? I put it? Because all of these fancy uh, stickers I have to put in and write on so that I know what is where. Yeah. I forget to use them. So, <laughs> But do you have them? I have them. They look pretty. Yeah, they really look pretty. Yeah, yeah I like the pink one the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love language color, pink. Yeah. Or green. But, but not only. No, green. Why green? I like green. I like all colors. Okay. Hmm. I actually I like green a lot and pink and purple. I also like blue. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's go back to the love languages. <laughs> oh, but but you can also use it on your children. Yeah. Well, yeah. And now I'm going to listen to the next book. And it's oh, there, there, there are more books. Yeah, children, singles. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, he also That's wrote one said. for men. So if your man doesn't want to read this uh, law of language book, so give him the men's edition. Okay, so there's a men's edition. What? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Men are from Mars and women are from Venus, but I've never read that book. Me neither. Still Maybe don't get it. Not. Well, we're we're different and we think differently. True, mm-hmm. but we have a different brain, Anna. Oh, we have a different brain. Guys. We actually do. I heard something the other day from a neuroscientist, and I can't remember what it was, but it was interesting. <laughs> I'll remember that at some point. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but but I think I'm going to look into it with my children as well because I would love to give them the opportunity to feel loved. Not yeah. if I tell them I love them doesn't mean that I feel that you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or if I touch them and they actually just kind of please don't, then what is it I can do? Okay, everybody love, loves gifts, but it's not. Yeah. If I ask them, especially my son who's 10, which of these forms of love language would you prefer? He would say gifts. Get gifts. Zone in on the gifts. Don't hug me. Just give me a gift. Um, so I think that could be funny. Yeah. yeah. When they grow older, <laughs> to just don't feel misunderstood or. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, to feel that. my daughter said um, to me, why are you not coming to South Korea? All the parents of my friends here are coming to South Korea, even if they're still here for just three months. Mm. I was like, okay, so that does bother you. Mm. And... Well, I said, yeah, I don't have the means to to go. And she was angry because I am not vaccinated. Ah. And to go to South Korea, you, you're not vaccinated. You have to stay in quarantine for seven mm. days, seven or ten days, which is, of course, extra costs. So, mm. but so then, you're thinking but, that could be... That could be her love yeah. language. It's not yeah. like acts of service, but um, showing the appreciation by acting in some way. Yeah. Yeah. That is actually quite... Yeah, that's interesting. Quite interesting, yes. Because I also believe that many conflicts can be avoided if, if we just understand what the other's love language is. Yeah, I, I I complain a lot. I do, um, so I'm betting my husband would like me to give him words of affirmation. Um, yeah, <laughs> and and, and uh, Dr. Chapman also talked about if you are a usually it's a mom with uh, preschool children, three of those, and your your love language three is, of those yeah and your love language is uh quality time but you get filled up with chores you might start to believe that your love language is acts of service yeah yeah that's actually where i've been it's not that my husband doesn't help at home he does but sometimes i feel overwhelmed so yeah. i complain and that's why i think I'm starting with the words of affirmation. Yeah. He also talks about, he believes that we've had, we will have the same love language uh, throughout life. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. You got me thinking though, because I I definitely am a touchy person. Mm -hmm. But if I look at what I complain about most or what I'm grumpy about most then it's coming home from work and then seeing that still the dishwasher hasn't been cleared out or exactly the you know so <laughs> the acts of service in that in that respect yeah, are... but is it because you just don't like it? And if it's every single day, it builds up. 
it doesn't yeah, it have be. to be your love language. And that was his, his point. Could it could just be that it becomes yeah. too much. And then that's yeah. what's in, in your mind. Yeah. yeah, because now, you know, the kids are grown enough and they know exactly um, what to do. And I always have the feeling that I'm the only one cleaning up and, and getting ri rid of the mess. And, and at some point, I just stop doing that because there's no support from mm -hmm. whoever. So I might as well be on my own. Yeah. And the question is, if your love tank was full, yeah, then it would Would it matter, matter as much? No. No, and that's his point. Yeah. Not that things doesn't matter, not that you're not supposed to help or anything, but, but just that if, if you don't feel full, yeah. I'm I'm the love tank. If I feel love <laughs> up to here or down here, <laughs> then everything becomes frustrating and annoying. Yeah. And I see all of that instead of focusing on, oh, I'm I'm actually kind of I'm in a good mood, I'm in a good relationship. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll do it tomorrow. Because yeah, exactly. in the end yeah. it doesn't matter. So yeah. yeah. Ah, that's mm -hmm. interesting. It is. But I see the different the different things now. I was when I was uh, uh, I did a little bit of reading about the love language. Not not like you did, but well, I did take, take a test. I just <laughs> reading it. Okay, excuses, excuses. Oh, there's not enough time in the day. <laughs> but looking at it. I, I, if I think of my loved ones, I do see the differences mm -hmm. of what's important to them and what's important to me. And yeah, then I also see why quality time for me is um, ranked second. Yeah. And physical touch and quality time are like by in this test eh, that we all that the three of us did and then mm. it was like 35 and 32 percent so that's quite high uh, compared to the other three mm. so and the quality time is actually because if i if if i would get some help doing the chores exactly then we could have quality time which mm -hmm. I value. Mm -hmm. And at first I, I was like, yeah, cool. mm -hmm. yeah, the, the, the physical touch, yes, but the quality time, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no. Yeah, and that's why I believe I complain about the acts of yeah. service because it could mean that I would have time to be with someone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder what our listeners and viewers think of that. Yeah. Do you have a love language that you say, yes, that's it? If so, put, put them in, in the, the comments. comments. Mm. Right? And perhaps we should put a link to, uh, to the test you took. That was in yep. English. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can ah. do that. If you are up for doing it with me, hey, if you're in a relationship or you have a child where you think, ah, I'm going to try this out, blah, 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 then do it and let us know how it goes. Yes. I yeah. have to keep you updated with permission from my husband. No, I can't have permission because then he would know. You, you can do it afterwards. You can, you can just... I have you to can just bring an it? update every week. <laughs> oh, but this wasn't it. This wasn't it either. But you can say that. And physical touch. He mentioned that a lady guessed that her husband's love language was physical touch. So she turned up the volume in the bedroom. Blah, blah, blah. She uh, invited to have sex. Yeah. Several times. Because she thought... But nothing changed. <gasps> Everything was the same. And that's where he talked about. And then she withdrew because not getting anything. He doesn't want me. 
well, could it be that it's not his love language? And it could. And it turned out it was another that I can't remember. So, so remember that physical touch doesn't equal sex. No, true. No. True. So just don't, don't have your boundaries uh, crossed and, and do it even though you don't feel like it or anything. Just has to small baby steps if you feel that you are uncomfortable because you're not used to it. But don't force yourself to do something you don't want to do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be uh, voluntary. Yeah. yeah. Volunteer- voluntarily. Voluntary. <laughs> voluntary. Oh, I didn't stumble. Voluntary. <laughs> Can you say it again? Voluntary. Oh, you're good. Don't have voluntarily. Say voluntarily. It's only voluntary. It's not voluntarily. Is it? Maybe we okay. should get. Maybe we should have a guest that's English or American. Ooh. Yeah, and so. that are two different things, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because once I wrote something with a uh, a C for sorrow, and my English friend told me that's only Americans. No, that she doesn't talk like that. She she talks like. Okay, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's the American way, love. Englishmen uh, use an, an, an S, so don't uh, don't use the C. It's a, it's an American thing. So yeah, I learned that. And mum and mom. Yeah, I learned that. And I say yeah. mom. Yeah, mom. No mom. With mom. a U. Mum. Mum. <laughs> mum. 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 <laughs> okay, Anna. Good. Good. Yeah. We're done. We're 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 we're. Drifting, drifting. Okay, so love languages. Interesting subject. Yeah. Go try it out. Yeah. First, check what your love language is. Yeah. Oh, oh, if you're there, oh you know what? Ask your partner. Take the same test as us, and then let us know what you have. Maybe yeah. you've got physical touch and quality time because as well. everybody got. Uh-huh. If everybody has physical touch, something's wrong with the test. Yeah. So take the test and list the one with bigger score, and the, yeah, list every everything if you yeah. want to. Yeah. But at least the biggest score. Exactly. The highest score. The highest it's, score. It's called highest. the highest score. Highest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's do that. Let's and do that, people. And the notification bell, and share and like and follow. Do that. <laughs> we much appreciate it. Really? All right. Well, thank you for listening and take and, and watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.